Hello, my name is Mose Samros, and I'm an assistant professor of chemistry and molecular biology at Princeton University. My lab is broadly interested in microbial natural products. These are small molecules that microorganisms synthesize in order to communicate and compete with other organisms, and more generally to interact with the environment around them. Um, natural products have traditionally served as a very productive source of drugs and drug weeds. For example, over 50% of the drugs approved by the FDA in the past 35 years, and more than 70% of our current clinical antibiotics are based on natural products. And as part of the Camille Dreyfus Teacher Scholar Program, I will explore one of the most important natural product antibiotics currently available, vancomycin. In recent years, the rapid rise of multidrug resistant bacterial pathogens has advanced infectious disease to one of the major health threats of the 21st century. Our antibiotic stockpiles are dwindling, and we are in desperate need of new antibiotic molecules. One of the most effective approaches to find new antibiotics is to alter existing ones, selecting those that retain efficacy against drug-resistant pathogens. This approach, however, is challenging at best uh, with our antibiotic of last resort, vancomycin, due to its sheer complex size and structure. One of the ideas we've been pursuing in my group is to use the biosynthetic enzymes involved in the natural product production of vancomycin to generate the antibiotic as well as new analogs. When we conduct a retrobiosynthetic analysis of vancomycin, we see that removal of the disaccharide unit gives rise to, a, to the A-glycone, and the cleavage of these three arrow crosslinks gives rise to a simple heptapeptide consisting of these amino acids, suggesting that in the forward direction, we could use solid phase peptide synthesis to generate the peptide, the three metalloenzymes to install the arrow crosslinks, and finally, two glycosyl transferases to complete a chemoenzymatic preparation of vancomycin. Now, two of the three metalloenzymes in this process had not been characterized when we started uh, to work on this project. We have recently established a new approach for synthesizing the heptapeptide and subsequent, subsequently characterized two metalloenzymes, oxy-A and oxy-C, and demonstrated their biochemical activities. We have also synthesized the first analog of vancomycin um, using our chemoenzymatic approach, as well as new vancomycin chemotypes with our collaborators in the group of Professor Sorensen at Princeton. The goal for us is now to apply this approach to generate a library of vancomycin derivatives and to test these against diverse pathogens. Our hope is to identify new analogs that kill bacterial pathogens, including those that are vancomycin resistant. I'm very grateful to the Camille and Henry Dreyfus Foundation for selecting me as a Camille Dreyfus Teacher Scholar. And my group is excited to undertake the project I described, that is to synthesize uh, vancomycin and diverse analogs with possibly therapeutic biological activities.